finish the test and you end up guessing a lot of the questions and now you can guess if you guess these questions correctly that could be the difference between getting medical school or not getting medical school yo welcome back to my channel man did it come on offering you cortisol lowering content how are you lot doing today let me know in the comment section today's video is going to be a good one i'm going to reveal more secrets than a uni student's browsing history okay so what we're going to talk about is stuff that you probably don't know about the ucat so ucat it stands for university clinical aptitude test and it's a computer based test now i'm just going to bring my phone out just to read to you um what the purpose of this test is and it actually says that the uk cat it helps universities to select applicants with the most appropriate mental abilities attitudes and professional behaviors required for new doctors and dentists to be successful in their clinical careers but please, please, please don't let that fool you. Now I'm going to get into some of the secrets. So what I've done is I've looked at some of the cohort studies. And now what have these cohort studies found and what have they told us? Well, I'm going to let you know right now. So now what these cohort studies have found is that the UCAT actually has a weak predictive power in predicting academic performance in medical school. Now what I'm going to do to you, I'm going to read to you a bit more what this cohort study has found. It's also found that when predicting the overall pass um, at a first sitting in the first year of medical school that quantitative reasoning was actually statistically non-significant. That means, in layman's terms, it's probably a worse predictor than I am. I went to a casino once in my life, a couple of times, but I've gambled in the casino once in my life and I bought five pounds with me and I left with nothing. After that, I never gambled again, especially not in the casino. That's why I started YouTube. I need to get that five pounds back again. Now, the last component of this UCAT uh, test is the SJT, the Situational Judgment Test. And actually, it's actually quite important and more in the sense that um, in fourth year, you're going to do this huge test and it's basically very similar to what you're doing now in your situational judgment and it takes up 50% out, um, of your overall grade for when you're applying for FYI one jobs. However, of course, the situational judgment test in the UK is another weak predictor of professional behaviours in medical school. It is a filter, more filters than your kidney, more filters than your glomerulosa. -sa -sa. Its primary function is to filter out medical school applicants. It is a very cheap and effective way of doing that. So if you don't do well, you can put that devil finger away because you're not king stupid and it's kind of Pete because some of you watching this video probably wasn't alive when king stupid actually aired which just shows how old I am I need a, I need a Zimmer frame now, I might as well Get the full body hoist out now, what's the point? But I digress, if you're on it like a car bonnet, you need to realise most people don't finish the test and you end up guessing a lot of the questions. And now you can guess, if you guess these questions correctly, that could be the difference between getting medical school or not getting medical school. It could be the difference in between getting into an undergrad place or getting a graduate entry place. It's very, there's a huge component um, of uh, chance when you're trying to get through these tests. So for example, if you end up guessing 10 questions, you probably end up guessing more throughout the whole, the whole exam. If you end up guessing 10 questions and you got five right, the other dude guesses um, out of the 10 questions, eight right, he gets medical school, you don't, because you don't reach the cutoff and he does. But don't get it wrong, there's tips and strategies you can do to improve your score so you don't have to rely on chance. And that's probably going to be my next video, so make sure you uh, 
subscribe video as you can probably tell is primarily for those who didn't do well so if you've done your test and you didn't do well on your test it's not the end of the world sometimes it's not even just you sometimes it's just the way you guess so technically speaking still is you just gotta learn how to guess better i guess and if you know how to guess better then let me know what a lot of you results is because i i i need some help so now this is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember there's enough meditic to go around. Stop being selfish and share the videos. Make sure you smash the meditics out of the likes and I will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>